guy like me, I've spent too much money on websites. I'd pull out that credit card for web hosting. I'd throw Canadian dollars at tools and buy too many domain names for bad business ideas. But I'm tired of spending money. My next website has to be free, as in zero dollars. I don't want to spend a dime. The website is for Good Harvest, my super popular gardening channel on YouTube. I don't need anything special. Just a simple one-page website is fine. It needs a splashy photo, a spot for a few videos, and I ran out of space, but this is a contact section. Could I do it? Could I translate this into a free website like this? Stick around. This is the story of how I did just that. To start, I did some research and I found seven free website tools that seemed to be recommended most often. The first one I tried was Wix. Wix seemed to be recommended everywhere. All right, took me about a half hour, but I've been able to design my site on Wix. I think it looks pretty good, so now let's publish it. But when I hit publish, I knew instantly Wix wouldn't work for me. Ugh. So it looks like free websites on Wix have this ad that scrolls with the website. It's kind of a deal breaker. And on top of that, check out the URL they gave my free website. I wasn't able to get rid of this part of the URL, which kind of sucks. I could deal with this, but not this. I'm giving Wix one star. Ugly ad, ugly URL. So that's just a no from me. And remember, I'm just rating Wix's free plan, not Wix as a whole. I actually like Wix as a website builder if you use the paid plans. Seeing how bad Wix's free plan was got me suspicious because when I had Googled best free website builder, tons of people had been suggesting Wix. They never even mentioned the big ugly ad. Instead, they praised Wix for super arbitrary things. So I was feeling skeptical when I tried my next tool, wordpress.com. Not WordPress, but wordpress.com. They're two different things. WordPress.org is the open source CMS you can download for free and upload to any web host. WordPress.com is a separate hosted service, so don't get them mixed up. And don't come at me in the comments and say, you should have tried WordPress.org. No, it's not free. I mean, technically it's free, but you'd also need a WordPress host. And I'm telling you, there are no good free WordPress hosts. Anyways, <sighs> WordPress.com was also a disappointment. So I'm just setting up my free site and they say, I need a premium plan to change fonts and colors. Come on, I know it's a free product, but that's, that's corny. I was able to design my website to look how I wanted, but to be honest, it took me a while. I found WordPress.com confusing. I mean, look at how the interface keeps switching and changing as I navigate through it. That's just kind of odd. And once I published my website, I noticed that like Wix, WordPress.com also put a big ad on free websites. So WordPress.com gets one star too. Big ad, hard to use and can't change colors. I mean, come on. At this point, I started to worry. Was every free website builder going to include some dumb little limitation designed to annoy and frustrate me enough so that I'd go for their paid version? Because guess what? The next two that I tried, Jimdo and Ucraft, both had annoying ads. Here's Jimdo, and here's Ucraft. I can't have ads like this. I'm a big time YouTuber. But seriously, these ads just look amateur, and they're even worse on mobile. Jimdo and Ucraft, you both get two stars too. Okay, okay, I know. I'm not blaming these companies. It's a free website. What right do I have to complain? I just think we can do better than this. So let's keep going. Fortunately, next up was Square and they were better. Even if you don't know Square, you've probably used their checkout at like a coffee shop before. They're a payment processing company, which means they help businesses take payments. They offer free websites in hopes that you'll sell things on the website and then they can process payments which means they're especially focused on e-commerce websites, which doesn't really matter to me. I got nothing to sell. Overall, my Square website looked pretty good. The ad was really small and hidden at the bottom of the page. I like that. Unfortunately, this editor is just oddly limited. For example, I can't seem to get this white to be black. So Square had these style options I could choose from, but none of them let me have just a black background and white button. Weird. 
and I can't remove the header. I don't need a header. Remember, I'm just building a one-page website. Square clocks in at a solid three stars. Small ad, but weird design limitations. Next up was Canva. Canva was definitely the runner up. Typically, I think of Canva as a graphic design tool, not a website builder, but I've been pretty impressed. I was able to get really close to the design I wanted. And when I finally hit publish, I was pleased to see the ad was small and hidden on the footer. The only downside, I'm not crazy about this URL they give free websites. I'd much prefer it to be like this. Plus they've added a weird white bar um, that I can't get rid of on mobile. I could be doing something wrong. I honestly don't know. In any case, Canva gets a solid four stars. Small ad, good design, kind of lame URL. So Canva was pretty close to what I needed. What could possibly be better? Well, you probably haven't heard of this next tool, Card. And it was my winner. It's for building one page websites, which is exactly what I need. Okay, so Card is looking like a perfect fit. I've been able to get the design looking exactly how I want. And when it came time to publish, they let me choose my own URL, which was great. Almost every other website builder just automatically assigned me a URL. Plus, see if you can spot the ad. It's really small, right here. That's the smallest ad of any tool I tried. So I'm really happy with Card. And also, look how nice it looks on mobile. That's perfect. Overall, Card is a perfect five stars. Tiny ad, great design, and a great URL. Thanks, Card. So here's what surprised me. I was able to design something pretty similar to my original mock-up with all of the tools. For me, the main differentiator was the annoying ads they put on free websites and the URLs. For example, this is just not great. I much prefer this. It turns out there are lots of free website tools out there, but it takes some effort to find the right one for you. I mean, I had to make the same website seven times before I found Card. And even then, it doesn't mean Card is the best free website builder. It just means Card was what worked best for me in this particular case. For example, if I had needed a free e-commerce website, I'm guessing Square would have worked better. But that's just theoretical. All I know is that Card was what I needed today. Now I have a beautiful free website for my little YouTube channel, and I can proudly say it didn't cost me a dime.